Now, the thing is, viewers, whenever you watch police camera action or see a real police chase, the person trying to get away is always going ludicrously fast. But actually, what's the point? You just panic and have an accident, and that's the end of that. But if you just do normal speed, they still can't get you out of the car, can they? Keen to prove him wrong, I initiated the TGPD anti-terrorism move. Here we go. Pushing, pushing. Got him. He's just driven off. I had decided it was time to skewer May with the TGPD prongs of doom. It's a Hemi High Mobility Engineer Excavator and it's built by JCB for the military. It weighs 13 and a half tonnes, but it's got a 6.7 litre straight six turbo diesel and it can do 63 miles an hour. James May, you have you, wherever you are. James had vanished. But we had just the thing to find him again. The time has come, I think, to deploy the Top Gear Police Department drone of intrusiveness. Here we go. The drone of intrusiveness has crashed. Eventually, I got the drone airborne and began the hunt for OJ May. Wait a minute. Ooh, you sneaky little. James was hiding in an abandoned garage bay. But if he thought he was safe there, he had another thing coming. Welcome everyone to the Top Gear Police Department ET thing of devastation. This was designed primarily for mine clearance, but in the TGPD, we use it in a rather different way. Oh, there is Constable Hammond. The enemy behind that wall, no idea what is coming. Engaging flails! Flails engaged! Situation update. In three minutes time, I will have beaten Jeremy's record on the run at a reasonable speed. But the TGPD toy box wasn't empty yet. Whoa! <laughs> oh, hello. It looks like Constable Hammond's got the hang of tank driving. The first thing you need to know is, I have an erection. Come in at you, James May. Oh, no. The Top Gear Police Department tank of righteousness is right on my tail. What am I going to do? I know. Easy. Right. Oh, hang on a minute. He's stopped. He's given up. <laughs> 